Welcome to the Systematic Review Data Repository, or SRDR, system. In this demo, we will demonstrate how to create an extraction form template. Log in and go to the My SRDR tab by clicking My SRDR on the top left side of the screen. This tab is a complete list of the projects you are working on. Click the Edit button under the project for which you'd like to create an extraction form. Find and click the Continue to Extraction Form button in the lower right-hand corner or click the View Full List button under the Extraction Forms header in the left navigator. From here, you can either add an extraction form from scratch by clicking Add Extraction Form, or use a previously created template by clicking Browse Form Templates. We are now going to demonstrate how to create an extraction form from scratch. Enter a title for your extraction form in the text box provided. If the extraction form deals with test performance, select Yes from the drop box below. Otherwise, leave No as the default. Finally, from the list of key questions, you must select at least one to accompany your extraction form. Always remember to save your work using the button in the bottom left. To navigate from one section to the next, you may choose a specific tab from the list across the top of the page. The first tab for publication information is required for all extraction forms and is uneditable. This tab will contain the citation information such as author, year, and journal. As you move to the next tab for study design, you will first be prompted whether or not to include the specific tab in your extraction form. The default setting will include all tabs, but you can remove this section by selecting No from the drop box. If you choose not to include this information in the extraction form, then it will not be available to you or your collaborators during the data extraction process. You may also add specific instructions for your data extractors using the Add Edit Instructions link below this drop box. Once the link is clicked, you can enter text instructions in the pop-up window and click Save. You'll begin to customize your extraction form using the Question Builder. At the bottom left of the page, click Add a New Design Detail to access this feature. Enter your question in the first text box and any instructions to your extractor regarding this question in the box below it. These instructions will appear in red below the specific question. Lastly, from the drop-down menu at the bottom, select the type of answer you'd like for your question. After selecting the type of answer, Press the Save button. Upon successful creation of your question, you will see it appear below. The Study Arm section allows you to enter arm information for the study. This section is always included in the extraction form. However, it is optional whether or not to pre-specify the arms in this stage of form creation or leave it to each extractor to specify the arm as reported in each study. If you chose to pre-specify the arm, click the Add Arm button on the bottom left and enter the title and description in the pop-up window provided. The Arm Details and Baseline tabs are built in the same way as the Study Design tab. Use the Question Builder to add details about the intervention or population characteristics. We will now move to the Outcome tab. This tab was designed to allow project leads to pre-specify outcomes. Any outcomes you enter on this page will be available during data extraction. To add an outcome, click Add a New Outcome Name in the bottom left of the page. Specify an outcome title and enter the outcome description as necessary. Also, select the type of outcome from the Categorical, Continuous, or Time to Event options. Finally, click Save to add this outcome to the list. You can use the Question Builder to add details about your outcome in the Outcome Details tab. The next tab will be for adverse events. First, you will choose from the following options as to how you would like the adverse event data to be entered, either by arm in total, by arm only, or by total only. Click the Update Settings button to save your selection. Next, you can reformat the columns in the Adverse Events table. To delete a column, click on the red X within the column header. To add a new adverse event column, click on the button on the left and enter the text for the column title and description as necessary. Be sure to save your additional column. As with the previous section, you can pre-specify the adverse events of interest by clicking the Suggest an Adverse Event Title button on the left and entering a title and description for the event. Click Save to add this event to the list. These will make up the rows of the Adverse Events table below. In the next section, we'll look at Quality. In this section, you can specify the quality dimensions from the Dropbox. You may choose to add each dimension individually or as a group of suggested dimensions. You can do this by selecting your option and pressing the Save button. Now you can see that all common dimensions have been populated in the table. To create a different grading system than the one specified here, 
you can delete the existing items and specify a new scale using the box at the bottom. Please note that the rating items will be shown as a drop box in the extraction form. You're now ready to finalize the form. Once you change the status from incomplete to finalized by clicking the finalize this extraction form button, the other team members will be allowed to see and use the template. In this tab, you can also choose to share the template with other systematic reviewers or to submit it to the template bank, where it will be accessible for future projects. To do so, just enter the extraction form title and a short description and who you would like to share the form with. Click on Send to the Bank. In this video, you learned how to create an extraction form template. Please check our other videos to learn how to enter study data, use the question builder, and other project tools. Thanks for using SRDR.